Hi, and welcome back to Soundtrack Pro. This is number seven in our series on workflow. I'm cleaning up some clips, getting ready for the mix. So let's go ahead and listen to these clips here. Let me actually remove my cycle region there. And we have some problems. You can see this waveform. This one is much smaller, thusly much quieter than these two clips here. Let's go ahead and listen. Let me solo this track, actually. Having a bridge to the mainland profoundly transforms the island experience. At the peak of winter isolation, we're suddenly connected, no longer an island. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. So these are pretty close and this is horribly wrong. So let's fix this. A fast, easy way to do it, just for the level, is we're going to go ahead and do our use, use our lift and stamp tool. So I've got lift voice level selected. Going up here and I've got to up arrow it so it's lifted. It's working perfectly. It's telling us what clip we've got, what we're going to do. We're going to go over to this third clip, stamp it. We have the down arrow. We did it automatically. Let's close this out. Letter A for my selection tool. Let's listen again. Having a bridge to the mainland. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. So you can see those are much closer, and that's very fast. You could just go down and do 100 clips like that. Bam, 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 bam. And they could be different speakers. It just does the voice level. The nice thing about this plugin is it can discern between the background noise and the speaker. And will just raise the voice and not the background noise. So nice tool to have in your arsenal. Let's take a look at one other thing. That was something we did on a clip level. Let's do something on a track level here. Let's go ahead and select this track. And I'm going to go ahead and control click. You could right click as well and add an effect. And I'm going to go ahead and lower the pitch of my voice. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little loop here, or cycle area. Uh, shift A will take care of that. And what we've got here on this pitch shifter is you've got your unprocessed signal here and your processed signal here in a blend between the two. You'll listen to it now and it'll sound like aliens. Day and night as a multi-lane highway. The ice bridge is now used day and night. The ice bridge is now used day and night. So that's the fully processed signal. Now, now let's listen to the unprocessed signal as a multi-lane highway. The ice bridge is now used day and night. Okay, so let's bring this down to there, and we're just going to drop my voice a half a semitone. A semitone is one half step. So let's listen to that, and I'll just toggle bypass on and off here. When it's red, it's bypassed. When it's black, it's active. So let's leave it active for now and listen to it one time through. As a multi-lane highway. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. So a half a semitone is pretty subtle, but you can hear the difference. We could bring this back up here. We could drop it down a whole semitone. And let's listen to it now. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. The ice bridge is now used day and night as a multi-lane highway. So you may find it effective. Could be more effective than EQ. Lowering or raising a voice a little bit. There you go. There you have it. Let's leave it active. Bam, we'll close that out. All right, another problem I have here. My dear little motorcycle noise, which I'm using for the snowmobile, this clip right here, and let, let's get out of solo mode so we can hear this, is not really very loud, the part portion of it I'm using. So uh, let's go ahead and listen here. And we can even crank it all the way up, and I bet we don't have a lot of volume here. You know, that might work, but I'd like a little more headroom. I'd like to not have it everything maxed out here. So what I'm going to do, open this up. It's already set. Actually, I have my tab here. And what I'm going to do is drag my playhead to this point right here. And then I'm going to go up to Edit, and I'm going to select, and I go forward. And this is just the region we're using right here. So I'm going to go ahead and normalize this region. And I can, I'll lower it a little bit below maximum db and click ok and you can see waves increase let's go back here and it looks quite a bit larger there let's listen to our sound so now we have some choices on how we want to do that let's drop it down a little bit see if we can get it to seat a little better All right, so you got the idea on that one. That works pretty well. Now, one thing we need to be aware of when we're doing these mixes is that 
if other clips are sharing the same track, such as here. So I've got a perfect level for my motorcycle sound here. I'm not sure that I have it over here for this effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and protect this. I'm gonna select this clip and I'm gonna go up to clip and I'm gonna do create envelope point at clip edges. So I know my volume is set there and I'm gonna put a protective node right there downstream. So if I do anything with this right here, set any kind of levels. In fact, let's go down here and see what it sounds like. Let's solo it so we know which one we got here. And indeed it is our lightning. Beautiful. And that sounds pretty good there, but maybe I don't want it quite as loud. So again, I'll do the same trick. Clip, envelope points, and uh, we, I don't know if we'll do anything downstream or not, but we could protect that. And you can select these, drop them down, and make sure they're in the right spot. We're pretty well set there, I think, and listen to it again. It should be down a bit. Beautiful, there we go. Now, let's talk about one other thing here as long as we're looking at automation. And I'm not gonna use this in my effects, but I wanna talk about it. Let me go ahead and take our designer synth and I'm going to zoom to selection basically and zoom out just a little bit. Let's get rid of our left pane, there we go. All right, so, and letter E by the way on a selected track toggles the envelopes view back and forth. Let's talk about volume and let's talk about automation, read, latch, and touch. What are these all about? Well, read. Of course, reads. Latch and touch work identically in that they will record your movement. And we can actually just use our slider here. It works great. It will record our movement. And then as soon as we're done, that's the difference between latch and touch. Latch will stay at the point you release or stop moving. And it will continue to write at that point or set everything that snapped to that point, latch to that point. Touch, once you're done, will come back up. So let's do a couple of demonstrations here on this. And I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, we'll set it in latch first. So when I'm done with latch, see, and we're going to solo this track as well. Let's get out of here and uh, go ahead. I'm going to just hit return here. Get me back to the beginning, hit play. And you can see this is where I stop the motion and it's continuing to write automation at that point until I hit stop. So that's that. Let's do a command Z to undo. Now let's look at touch real quick. Here's touch. And what's gonna happen now, is it'll snap back to this point as you'll see. So let me go ahead and hit play. And you can see once I stop moving, it snapped back to this point. So that's how latch and touch work. Now you need to be careful once you're in this mode to get out of it because if I go to any slider right now without thinking and adjust something, in fact, let's move the playhead down here so we can see it. We're gonna get some writing going on here, okay? So be careful of that. I should have a little red flashing light to let you know. All right, that basically concludes all I want to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you got a tip or two on it. Stick around for the next one where we continue with the mix.